Hey there, this is Nils Beardfoot and today we're making a honeycomb upper leg armor from leather. This pattern is quite simple. We mostly got this honeycomb piece here and we cut it out, transfer it onto the leather and cut out that one too. Next, we can punch all the holes that we need. Also, we want to bevel all the edges on the top side. To make folding easier, we cut out some grooves along the blue marked lines on the pattern. These work as folding lines, and with a bone folder, we also can deepen them to make it even more easy. Apart from the honeycomb pieces, we also got a cover plate on the very top and for this we go for some tooling here. And as with the honeycomb, we process this piece as well. For the honeycomb, of course, I go with some yellow, and it's important to dye the front and back side. With some brown, I go along the edges to give it a more rustic look. To protect the leather and dye, I put on some resist as finish at both sides. And with some resist along the edge, we can use the moisture to burnish it and also use a bone folder to burnish the flesh side a little bit. On the cover piece, it's fairly simple, but here we I also add some antique gel. So after the resist dried completely, I put some antique gel everywhere and then wipe away the excess. Be careful to go light on the sewing holes, since putting some antique gel in them will later on when sewing create quite a mess. And another coat of resist to seal the antique gel in the leather. To shape our honeycombs, we have to moisten them completely. So I put them directly into water and then wait a half an hour till we proceed. Our bone folder has a straight edge, so we can use it to easier bend them along the folding lines. Important for a clean look are the corners, so you want to use your thumbnail to press them out to make it really a hexangular shape. And that's what we do like 20 times. Note that there are different versions of honeycombs. There are some that only have sewing holes and others that have on one side no sewing holes but a round hole on the other side. These are the edge pieces. So we start sewing everything together now and the edge piece obviously has to be on the edge of a row. And with additional pieces we can pleat a row. Note that in the center piece here is also a round hole, but this will be changed later on the pattern, it's not necessary. So you only have round holes on the edge pieces at both ends of the row. All the not edge pieces we can sew also together now at the top side. And this is what we do for another 5 piece row, a 6 piece row and a 4 piece row.
To connect our rows, we need some strong but flexible straps. I use here backpack straps. Put a hole in and a rivet as well. When we've put multiple rivets in the strap, we can use them to attach the different rows of our honeycomb together. Put them in the round holes and set the rivets. Now we also can sew the top of the edge pieces together as well, since the rivets are fixed. Proceed like this with all the other rows as well until everything is attached to the straps. For our cover plate we also have to sew it together, very simple like this, and then attach it to the straps as well. Put the honeycomb strap through the lower hole of the cover plate, then take the strap for the belt and put it on both holes at the front but only at the upper hole at the back. This way you need long rivets, but you don't need extremely long ones. Since the honeycomb pieces won't be a perfect shape to each other right now, moisten everything completely. Take it out again and let it set for at least half an hour before you proceed. You want to give it an overall rounded shape to fit your leg better. And then align the hexangular shapes of the honeycomb to each other, so that each piece fits in between two at the lower row and two on the top row. Also give the cover plate a little bit more rounder shape and make it fit to the honeycomb as well. And this is it, the movable honeycomb upper leg armor. Note here that the center strap for the honeycombs won't be in the pattern. It's unnecessary and I took it out. You only will have these on the side. Now we have finally a home for our bee that we made in the tutorial and has some holes on the bottom. So we simply use leather straps to attach it to the honeycomb. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. You can find this pattern as well as all my others in the links down below. Have a great day!